Would you like to have a customized stinger transition in OBS, but you don't have After Effects or a freaking degree in design? No worries. We're going to make this an Apple Keynote. Have you ever been watching a live stream and they switch between different scenes and there's like that little animation? That's called a stinger. That stinger is just a transition that comes up while it's switching between the two scenes. A lot of professionals use that uh, and have professional made ones when they're switching between scenes, kind of little advertisement. It just looks a lot cleaner, a lot more professional. Let's open up Keynote. We're going to do a new document. Open up, uh, make sure it's on wide. Open up a presentation. We're going to open up this one with the black background. And I always add a new slide and make it a blank one. And then I take that first one and delete it. Uh, you can remove that stuff as well, but I don't know. This is just what I do. So right now, we've got a blank slide. The background is black. We don't want a background. So come over here to the right side where it says color fill and put that to no fill. So the background has no fill. Now, you didn't see anything change on this background because for whatever reason in uh, Keynote, when there's no background, it just kind of throws in a black blank in the background. Uh, there's no background there. It just looks black still. All right, let's get our files in here. So we'll throw this background color there. I'm going to pull that in again for a second one because we're we, we want two pieces to come from both sides and interlap, making that like that barn door and then open back up. So let's go ahead and throw an animation on this and then we'll pull it in again and do it the opposite direction. So we want to use move in, nice smooth transition, uh, uncheck bounce. That's going to take away that little bounce in the movement and it's going to go a lot smoother with what we want to do we don't want to have that delay in there uh let's put the duration of this animation let's throw it down to about 20th of a second we want it to come in quick and cover up the seam and this one we're going to go from left to right now the build out, we'll add that in. We want to move out, uncheck bounce. Now the way this is by default, it's going to continue on to go left to right, but we want it to go back the way it came. So we want to go right to left. So we'll set that to right to left and put it at about a 20th of a second. Now I want to pull it in again. Pull that in again. Now I've got another one. Notice it has no animation on build in or build out. So now we're going to create a build in. We'll add move in again. Now, the first one was we have opening from the left and leaving to the left. Now this one we want to have open from the right. So we want to go right to left. Take out the bounce. Let's go down to 20th of a second. Now Set the build out, move out, and that's fine because we want it to go back to the, to the right, from left to right. We got the bounce, and 20th of a second. Okay, so now let's work on our build order. So let's, we want, to take this move in, move it up by the other move in. So we got both move ins and then both move outs. So let's take this first move in. We're going to set this for after transition. That means when the slide loads, it's automatically going to go into effect without a click. We don't need any delay. All right, then we 
we want the other one to go with build one. We want it to go at the same time because we want them to come in together at the same time. And again, no delay. Next one, want to do after build two, we're going to do about a one second delay because we need that freeze frame where the it switches in OBS, it switches the scenes behind there. And this one, we want to do with build three, zero delay. Okay, so let's take a look. So they go in quick, they come out. Now what I also like to do, because you could you could just have that, but then you're not displaying your logo or anything. So let's jump back in here. Drag the Pete 68 logo in. Here. Uh, I want to make it a little bigger, so let's drag it out. Make that nice and big. Centered and center this way. There we are. Ah. Hang on. Let me change my view. Zoom. I want to see the fit slide. Now I can see the whole slide. Okay. And that's pretty good size for that. But I want to make it bigger. So let's go bigger. About there. Nice and centered. Okay. So with this highlighted, let's do a build in. We don't want to do anything too fancy here. It's going to mess with our aesthetics. We just want it to simply appear. Okay, and then build out. We just want it to disappear. But we also want it to kind of stay. We want to kind of add a little animation there during that one second period just to kind of keep people's eyes focused. So I think I did the rotate one. Set it to rotate uh, 45 degrees rotation is way too much for the little amount of time we're doing here we'll just rotate it uh, let, let's do five degrees just something real small it'll so it'll rotate five degrees duration um, yes yeah, so, well let's Move that just a little bit. Let's do like 80th of it here. So now we need to set this up in our build order. So the logo we want to appear, we want to bring it up here between the move in and the move out. So let's put all of this stuff between the move in and the move out. Just click and drag. Okay, so now our P68 logo is between move in and move out actions. And we'll have to reset up that stuff. So move in, let's see. Okay, that looks good. That's with build one. Okay, so now after build two, we want this to appear. It's going to appear after build two. Now, after build three, after that appears, we want it to do its animation, which I think we've already set up. After build four, it's going to. Oh, I think this. Oh, okay, so we need to take off the delay on this now. So that's going to have that delay. And that's going to just rotate and then. Oh, wait. Ooh, hoo, hoo. 
thing I caught that. We want the disappear to happen after the rotate. So it's gonna appear, it's gonna rotate. Want the rotate delay. Now we set the rotate up for eight. Yeah, let's just see how this looks. And then disappear after build four. After build five. We do not need a delay on this anymore because put the logo in there. Those go together. Let's see how it's looking now. Ah. That's on click. That was my fault. Okay, so. Got them set up in there. Move in. We got the two move ins. We got the appear. We've got the rotate. We've got the disappear and then the two move outs. Uh, let's double check these. Yeah, that, that moved back to on click. So we want after transition to automatically start with build one, after build two, three, after build four, after build five, with build. Okay, so it should automatically go now. So let's click play. That was our animation. That one more time. It was a quick little period there where it disappears. All right, now that we've got it built, now we want to export and make sure we keep those transparent backgrounds. So go up to File, Export to Movie. These settings up here, you can just leave as is. Click the resolution, go to custom. And then we got 1080, so 1920. And then hit tab, and then it'll automatically put in 1080. So we've got a 1080p. Now compression type, this is the important area. If you, you need to select Apple ProRes 4444, and it automatically checks the export with transparent backgrounds. So that's what's going to create that transparency that you need. And you'll click next. And then you can name it. We'll call it Stinger. I'll name it Stinger 4 since I already have three other Stingers. And then we'll export. So then it puts it in that folder. So then what you need to do, you need to copy that file, put it on your PC. Go into OBS, or if you stream on your Mac, you can just put it right into OBS. But go into OBS, and then add. Uh, go into your stingers. You want to add a new stinger, and you want to add that stinger in. And then you should be set, and then you're going to have something that looks similar to this. You're going to have that personalized transition. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please... Uh, Subscribe to the page, uh, give it a like, and uh, get out there and be creative.